everybody everyone this is Trisha and welcome to my channel and my farmhouse wedding series I hope that you will enjoy this so let's get started all right everyone today we're going to be doing project number three which is this lighted lantern floral centerpiece all right so my supplies are going to be this lantern right here I purchased this at a clearance price at Ross, you can find these lanterns pretty much anywhere now, but I do suggest that you go to a discount store to get these. Now, I could have painted this wide, but I decided to leave it as is because this will fit my home decor. Uh, but if you want it and you have the uh, chance to do so, then you might want to paint the, the uh, outer part here in the color that you want. I think this fits the farmhouse style just fine. So I just wanted to show you that it doesn't all have to be white. And this has an LED... Um, candle inside which will take some batteries and I have the batteries for them I just have to install them uh, I got it from Ross for $8.99 I thought that was a really good deal okay I've also got this platter that I want to use to display my arrangement and I want to place it in there and I'll show you why um, I feel like I need to do a little wiping of it <laughs> but anyway this is actually a platter for my kitchen but you could use any tray that you find that you want to, if you want to do the same type of uh, arrangement that I'm going to do or you can use like a cutting board or if you want to cut out your own uh, piece from a piece uh, you know from a plywood and then uh, distress it or make it look however you want all right I also got these little uh, doilies from uh, the Dollar Tree there's it's actually a packet of two but I'm going to use one of these inside my tray I'm going to need uh, some styrofoam, so I've got this little circle right here, just a little bit of styrofoam. I've got some assorted ribbons, and I'm going to be using very thin ribbons. I'm not going to be using a thick ribbon to put a bow on my arrangement. I feel like it would overpower it. This are uh, 5 8 wide ribbon, 5 8 inch, and this one is a 3 8 so you want to keep in mind to get some thin ribbons like that. I've also got some green moss here. This is to cover some of my styrofoam, should I need to use that. I also have an assortment of flowers, some which I got from the Dollar Tree. I've shown these flowers before, but I'm showing them again. I got some roses and some lavender. I don't know if I'm gonna use all of this. I probably just used a few. I also have some little tulips. These I happened to buy them at Burlington, and I've used, already used some of these. So I still had some, so I thought I'd use maybe two or three of them from here. I also have this bush that I bought from Hobby Lobby, and I'm not going to use all these flowers, obviously. I'm probably just going to pick and choose maybe this smaller and maybe some part of the hydrangea. Uh, this flower is probably too big for this particular arrangement, but we'll see. And then I've got some ivy greenery here. You can choose any greenery that you like. I like to use something with a small leaf, so again, so it doesn't overpower uh, the arrangement. Okay, everyone. And my tools are going to be... I like to use a craft knife to cut styrofoam if I have to, uh, wire cutters, scissors, I do have some floral wire, and I'm using a 26 gauge, a 24 gauge is perfectly fine for this type of project. I'm going to be using these uh, greenery pins or U-pins. I've got hot glue sticks or glue sticks for my hot glue gun, and my, my hot glue gun is ready to go, so uh, let's get to crafting. Okay, so <laughs> it has taken me uh, like 30 minutes to remove these little screws from under here to remove um, the candle out from the lantern. Uh, they were really hard to remove, but I finally got them off. There was a point where I thought, okay, I'm not going to be able to remove the candle. I'll just remove the little screw so that I can open this up and put batteries. But even that little screw was so hard. But I finally got everything off and I got the batteries in there. Now, I didn't have to take this out of there to get the batteries in here. I just reach under here and do that and then I could work on my arrangement you know while the candle is still in there I could work around it like that but I thought you know what well, why don't I try to do this a little bit easier on myself and try to remove the candle so that then I can have the styrofoam work on the flowers and then put the candle back in there now to do that uh, I would take my candle and then trace around it which I've already done right here I've already traced around it and then I can just cut a hole where the candle will sit in there and uh, this can also, the styrofoam can also be placed in here and it will clear the hole obviously or you know once I have this in there I could also just slide it in through there but I have to do this at an angle. I can't do it like this. So <laughs> I have a couple of options. I could either 
get my styrofoam since I've already removed my candles. Take my little my styrofoam circle or little rectangle square, whatever fits in here. Glue it down in here. Create my little arrangement, and then slide this in in there. You know, I wouldn't put anything obviously inside the circle because that's where the candle would go. And then of course this could just be taken out, turned on and off. You know, turns on <laughs> and then back off and then put back in there. But I thought, well, just that's a lot of trouble. But it does give me at least this much more height of the candle. So, you know, whatever flowers I put down here aren't going to cover the candle too much. But the problem with that is, of course, every time I want to turn it on and off, I have to be opening this, I have to be reaching in there, pulling it out. And then when I put it back in, I got to get it in there, try to make sure that whatever little stems of flowers or leaves are here, they're not, you know, pushed out into the center where I have to pull them up part to put that in there I figured you know the easiest thing to do would just take the time and cut the hole out so this is completely clear so when I'm done finishing doing my little arrangement in here I can slide my candle in there screw it back on from the bottom so that when I do lift it around I don't have to worry about the candle tilting over on me inside there it's because it's attached and also when I have to turn it on and off, all I have to do is reach under here and, you know, do that from under here. I don't have to be taking it out. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've already traced out my, the hole on the uh, styrofoam. I'm actually going to cut just a little bit bigger. I just need enough styrofoam on here so I can insert some flowers on there. So I'm going to use my knife here to cut into it. And like I said, I'm going to go a bit bigger so I know that I have enough room for my candle and I'm actually going to build my um, arrangement once I have my styrofoam in there I'm actually going to build it in here and I'm going to do the back part and then I'll put my candle in there secure from underneath and then I'll build the rest of the arrangement which I want to cascade out of my lantern so then this will stay open because obviously it's going to be cascading out or I could just do it where the arrangement is just inside of there and um, you know close the little door and then maybe make another arrangement that kind of cascades out here but I like the idea of the little door open so that could be a choice that you could decide on okay everyone uh, let me go ahead and finish just cutting the styrofoam and I shall be back once that is cut out and I can begin my arrangement. Okay, so I've cut out the hole on the inside. So now when I get this in there, I can have room for my candle and then I can go ahead and uh, screw it in from below. But I'm not gonna do that yet because like I said, I want to do the inside of the arrangement first, what's gonna go in the back. Uh, so first I'm gonna cover this with some green moss and this is completely optional if you wanna do this. I'm just going to take some bits of moss here and with my greenery pens here and just cut them so they're not like really big pieces. Just and you can use your hot glue gun to uh, place them on here as well. And sometimes you need your scissors to kind of trim. Uh, and I'm just trimming what will go at the bottom edge and you could just pin in your pieces like that. But because this pin sticks out all the way to the inside, I'm just going to fold it back. Or you could trim them with your wire cutters, which is probably the best thing to do. So there we go. Of course, if you don't want to use the greenery pins, you could just cut this about you know the width of the styrofoam. Let's take some of that bulk off of it. And then just add a little bit of hot glue to them. And then stick it down. Any little bits like that, just push it down. And this is kind of nice because then you don't see the greenery pins. And I'm not going to stick any stems on the side, so I'll just continue doing it this way. I'll put a little bit of glue, take a piece of moss, Put it on there and just continue all the way around and then what I can do is I can come back with my scissors and trim the pieces that are protruding off, you know, 
at the bottom. I don't have to worry about the ones at the top. Those will be fine. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue <clears throat> covering my styrofoam with this moss all the way around the bottom edge, and I shall be back. All right, so now I'm ready to go and start building my um, arrangement on the piece of styrofoam before I actually put it in there. What I did is I actually went ahead and I tried this because when I add the moss, it actually adds bulk, you know, to the sides. And so I wasn't able to, like, push it in because it was really tight. So I had to do some trimming of the moss here. So what you're going to do is after you put your moss on there, just take your scissors and just start, like, kind of, like, shaving off a little bit some of the bulk just so that it will fit unless you have plenty of room or maybe you just had a smaller piece of styrofoam and you don't have to worry about this now anywhere where it just comes off just put it towards the front you know try to get those pieces towards the front that way you can just cover them up once they're in there but try to get the covered bits towards the back so that's what i'm doing i'm just shaving some of it off and then i'll see that fits once i get some flowers on it if not i'll do some more trimming i was able to push it in at this point uh, before I shaved a little bit more off of it so I'm pretty confident that it will um, once uh, I have flowers already on there okay so we're gonna know now we know that this particular styrofoam fits right in my uh, arrangement I know that none of my flowers should go any further past they're all just gonna be like right here okay this is my balder spot so I'm gonna put that to the front because then I can just cover that up all right, so let's start off with some flowers. I want to put a couple of these little tulips in there. You know, I found one when I went, actually took a little break because I was having trouble with those screws. I was going to wait for my husband to help me <laughs> remove the screws from the bottom. Uh, and uh, I ended up removing them myself, but by the time I did it, it was already dinner time, and we decided that we're just going to go get something to eat. When I came home, I found one in my one of my tulips in the living room, and I closed my craft room. So at some point, my little doggie got in here, and... Uh, she just decided to grab one and she decided to destroy it. Which is funny because she hardly ever does anything like that. So my cat may have gotten a hold of it instead and did that and then, I don't know, blamed it on my dog. <laughs> okay, so you can see here that I've cut these uh, really short. This had a little, little uh, wire stem in there that helps it kind of bend around. So it just kind of slid off. I'm just going to push it back in. Okay, this one still has it in there. Okay, so... Um, what I'm doing here is I'm going to take this larger leaf and I kind of want it up here in the, in the little corner so I'm going to put it right in here so everything that I put in here I'm actually I'm actually not even going to bother with that because I'm going to make my little hole here to make sure that this little plastic tube goes in there I don't want to go all the way in because I don't want to go all the way through you know at the bottom so just that's my little corner there and then I'll just have my little tulip kind of popping out so I'm going to have it bend just a little bit like that and again I'm going to keep everything within the limits of you know this diameter here and also not over this part here so I'm just going to build a little bit at a time so I'm going to put a tulip here so that when I put it in here and you're looking at it from behind there'll be at least one little tulip right here okay and I think I like the other one on this side over here, so I'm going to go at this corner and do the same thing. Let's see, right about here, there it goes in. I'm melting a hole with my glue gun is what I'm doing. I'm pushing that in there because it has a pretty thick uh, stalk on it, you know. There, that's good. It's not going through the bottom. Nope. Okay. And then I'm going to bend this so that, you know, I see it over here. Like if I was to have it in here and I wanted it to be seen on this side, I would bend it towards this way. So I'm just going to bend it this way. But let's get some glue in there. Let's get some more glue on that one. It wasn't quite holding on. Okay. Now let's make sure. I'm giving it a little bit of a curve. Okay, like that. This one does not want to stand straight, you guys. So 
Got to do some maneuvering. Okay, so let's continue on with some other little flowers. And I said I wanted to use some of these smaller bits and like the hydrangeas on here. So let me cut off the hydrangeas, cut the whole length. I'm not going to use the whole length, obviously. Um, I'm just going to cut off about this much. And I'll save this in just for just a moment. I'm going to need that. Now this is a really big flower to stick in here, so I should actually just trim some of this off. And let's see how far it can go into the styrofoam. And so I'll just trim it a little bit more because I just need a, a little bit of that stem right here, a little stick. I just need a little bit to go in there because you can see the styrofoam's not very thick. So I'm gonna put some right here. And it looks like a little flower fall off of this little stem, so I'm just going to tear, cut that off. <clears throat> and then I can use the other one on the other side, and it doesn't have a hard stem, but I'm going to make just a little tiny little hole with my glue gun, and then stick it into the little hole, and then just pour some glue around it. I'm going to do a little testing, because this is going to go in there like that, and then down. I think at this point I can go ahead and work on this with it being in there so I'll know what my limits are as far as uh, where I can put my flowers. I don't want them to get like squished against the glass either but I don't want them not looking outward and this one is not so I'm just going to fix that and then I can put some greenery to hide all that. So I'm going to turn this around. See how I can look at the back of these flowers? I don't like that, so I'm just going to go ahead and fix it. I'm going to just take the little bit that keeps it from all sliding out. Let's see if I can twist this. Yes, I can. Okay. So now i got my flowers kind of looking up. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to cut one of them off because it's going to be in the way of the candle. So I cut one of them off, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it down further at the bottom here. Just glue it down onto the styrofoam like that, so it just covers that little little bit and where I can see some stem from this one flower in there. So you can see the stem and the star, top of the styrofoam. I'm going to glue this down. Oops, where am I? What world am I in? Okay. See, so now that I've stuck that flower right in there, that covers that bit. So then all I have to do, and because I still have a nice little hold on here, I haven't covered anything, I can go ahead and start um, even adding some moss to cover the top there, that little, little areas where I can see the styrofoam. But uh, let me add more flowers. Actually, I'm going to trim this one of these other little flowers in there as well now it's a little bit of a pickle getting in there and cutting things uh, but I am finding that uh, it's actually better than trying to build everything out here and then you know trying to put so much trying to squeeze everything in there so this actually works a little bit better for me okay here's another little flower that I'm also going to snip off because it's facing inside rather than facing out and so I don't get to see it so it's kind of a waste so I can just save these to also hide the styrofoam like glue them down like I did this one flower I can glue it down in other spots so that's what I'm going to do because that works really well I'm just going to cut the little stems a little short because I'm not really using the stem I'm putting glue on here just slide in there glue it down flat onto the styrofoam not onto your fingers. There we go. And then just push it in front of the stem of one of those flowers so that it stays facing forward. I glued a little flower down here onto the white part of the styrofoam, one of the petals, and then I bent the, the rest of it upward and it's kind of leaning against this other flower against the stem so it stays up. Now if, you, if if that's a little problem then just get a little bit of glue and glue it to the stem but I don't need to do that because once I put the candle in there that's all going to keep it standing 
and but it won't press it up against the glass like it won't be squished up against the glass okay let me continue let me see if one of these roses is not too big for this face actually if I take it off the stem it might be okay it's a little bit wide and if I have it facing forward it doesn't fit properly so we're not going to use those we're going to use little lavender bits and I'm pushing up some of the greenery upward as it was down here so I just slid it up cut your stem and then decide where it's going to go and then if you need to trim any more of the stem do so which is what I'm going to do There I have a lavender stem sticking out back there. And then I'm going to do one on, on each side as well. Wait, let me push up some of the green. Here, let me cut off this, the off from here. So this green leaf here, I pushed it up. I could do both. Give it a little bit extra greenery. And then trim it just enough so you have enough stem to stick into the styrofoam. A bit of glue. Put that in there. Just maneuver the leaves so they're not squished up against the glass. And look at that. That's getting nice and full in there. So I'm just going to continue doing that. put one on this side so I'm gonna reach in there this little corner and just push it in right there oh that looks really nice I'm looking at it from every side every angle and it looks really good I do have this other little flower and I think I'm gonna stick it on inside of right on this side because I can see a lot of that styrofoam and then I'll just cover the rest of it with uh, some of that moss and a little bit of leaves from the greenery. So I'm gluing the petal down into the styrofoam and then moving the flower in front of one of these little stems. So I've now covered a little bit more and I think I've covered the styrofoam so that looks great. Okay so now what I want to do is I'm going to cut a little bit of my greenery so let me get a couple of the uh, greenery uh, leaves that are small and I'll be right back. Okay so I've got some a little branch of the uh, greenery from my large bush and some of this one here has some smaller little leaves on it. Some of them are really large so I want to use these smaller leaves that are on there. Just pull off the ones that look the smaller and then you know like this one's got one that's kind of big. Actually it's kind of big here. Here here's another small ones right here kind of okay we'll pull off as we need and I still have this from that big bush that I I went ahead and I took off of it because I want to use that okay so we're going to use these so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of them and make like a nice tall bit back here against the glass over here so that we have some of that beautiful greenery coming up and it's not just like at the bottom where the uh, styrofoam is a little bit of glue, push that in. Okay, so I put that little little stem of greenery right up against there. So then you can see it out here. And of course you can see some of the white styrofoam through here. If you look in there, you can see the white styrofoam again. We're gonna cover that up. Okay, and I'm probably gonna put some of this up here in the front, but let's go ahead and finish up. Uh, let me grab just one leaf. Let me cut these two off, off the little stem. And I'm just gonna glue them individually. Okay, I also wanna add these in there. So I'm just gonna remove them off the stem and then use them separately. Look at how pretty this one is. It's got these little white flowers on it and I kinda of like how tall it is and how it would look back here. So that's where I'm gonna insert this one.
Okay, you know what? Let me make a little hole first with, this, with one of these stem sticks. We'll punch, punch in a hole because the um, this is like really soft, so it's not really pushing in. Okay, get some glue in that little hole. All right, now I can push this into it. There, that works. Grab all these webs of glue. I need to turn it because it is not going in the direction I want it. There we go. I'm gonna, there we go. I intertwined it with that lavender a little bit so that it stays up there. You can see a little white flower, see kind of popping up there in the corner behind the lavender. I think that looks really pretty. Okay, let me look at it from my angle. I think it looks great already. Nice and full back there. So now I'm going to get some of that green moss and just tuck it into little spots here and there. And I'm just going to break it up in front here on my... I'll put these in there in just a moment. I just want to go ahead and put this bit of moss. I'm putting a little bit of glue on it. And then I'm just reaching in there and pushing it. Try not to get my finger on the glue or squash any petals. And I'm just pushing it in there and covering white. So that's all I'm going to be doing, okay? Just for a few little spots here and there. Alright, so I just want to remind you that whatever I'm doing in there, what I started doing when I had it out here, because I feel like this is really difficult for you to really see what I'm doing once it's already in there. It's just that when I had it out here, you saw me put those first few flowers. That's all I've been doing is just adding more here and there. So now anywhere where I had a bare space and you could see the white styrofoam, I put some moss. So now it's on the sides. If you look through, you won't see the, the, the white um, styrofoam. And of course, like I said, Anything that uh, falls out will fall out the center, so I know that that will be clear for my candle. Will fall out the bottom hole, I should say. Okay, so I have these two little bits here. I thought they were really pretty, and I want to also incorporate those in there. So I'm going to make some space in here. Put those, put one of them right here. Hold into the styrofoam. go because I did have that ivy but I'm going now I'm going to push this flower in there and then one of the leaves of the ivy I, I let me see let me give you a little example I had an ivy stem in there like that and then I put this in there right behind it so what I did is I moved the leaf behind it instead so that then you could see this flower and then you can see it right there okay uh, let's see, I have another little ivy leaf, and I'm going to glue that. Let's see. That's really good, actually. I'm just going to... There's a little spot there where I can see some styrofoam. Okay, I'm going to tuck this leaf back here in the corner in front of that, that first tall greenery that, like this here, that I put in the corner. I'm just going to reach in there and try to glue this in there. So I'm just going to move some things. And then just glue that right there. And I think that'll look fine. Yes. And the reason that I keep on to push it in through the glass, I don't know what I'm doing with my finger here. Okay, let me let me turn it around this way. Let's see. Make sure that it's actually glued on. Yeah, okay. So that kind of covers that little bit of the stem at the bottom where it didn't look very attractive where I pushed it in. Okay, so I intend to keep this door open once I have it on my platter. And I'm I'm pretty much happy with the way it looks. I do have this other little bit here. Um, where could I tuck that in? Will it show back here? Yes, it would. Okay, so I'm going to put this bit on this back wall back here between this tulip right here behind these flowers. I think it'll look great right there. Melt a little hole in there. And I didn't even have to glue down the styrofoam, you guys, because 
it went in so tight but I do suggest that you do that glue it down as a matter of fact I'll just put some little spots of glue here and there reach in through here there we go that's good enough okay so now we have this here that's kind of showing here in the front but I'm going to put a bouquet of flowers coming out of here so we don't need to worry about that let me move some of these items out of the way because I'm going to add my candle back in there let's lift it get that out of the way okay make sure everything's if nothing got like squished no let me fix this little flower it's too far on one side yeah I like it I like it a lot okay so now that I have that uh, I'm going to close the door even though I'm going to be leaving the door open for the actual display I'm going to close it for now so that I can turn this around and then I can screw it back in here so I need to twist the candle actually so kind of open this to where the little holes meet where I can screw it in so let me screw it back in there and I shall be back okay so I've screwed the bottom of my candle back on into my lantern now if you don't have a candle that that has to be screwed in there you, you have a plain uh, lantern that you can just place any candle in there if you wanted to well obviously you don't have to go through all that trouble um, that's just the style that I happen to purchase and if that's what you have that's how you can do it uh, you could just add the candle after you put a star one of course you don't have to cut the hole in the bottom okay I think I already explained that anyway but now I want to have this in on this this is a Le Creuset pizza kind of a pan it could work as a griddle as well um, but I'm going to use this for my little display. I'm going to put this right in here. And I'm going to have the door open. Let's see. Yeah, that'll be okay. So I'm just pushing it like that. So I want to have a bouquet right here. Not very tall, but I want a bouquet here. And it's just going to be a few little flowers. It's just going to get smaller as I come around the outside this way. Um, I'm looking at my little door here. I'm not too crazy about the way that it looks when it's open like that, but I think that once I have a little flower arrangement here, maybe if I just lay like a flat tulip down here on the rear, this will be distracting enough. <laughs> but if something like this should bother you where it's got these little prongs here where it's holding up the glass, you could take a little ribbon and decorate the edge here. And speaking of ribbon, if you don't like the uh, green moss on the edge of your styrofoam, you could put a little ribbon on it instead. You know, cover that white there and then maybe just on the top put a little bit of the green moss. And that'll give it a little color going around the edge of your arrangement when you look at it through the glass. I think that looks really pretty. So now I'll be able to just reach under here and just turn on my little light. Which way does it go, you guys? Oh, that's the little one. <laughs> there we go. And see how pretty that looks in there all lit up. And you can still see it through the flowers. Okay, now this type of arrangement uh, depends on what you want to spend on it and how many you want to make. But something like this, I would put it on the maybe on the uh, table where you, maybe you have a guest book. Maybe even on a dessert table or something like that. You want to put it there rather than put a bunch of these on every single table. Now, if you're going to have a small wedding and you have 10 tables and you can go out and purchase, you know, 10 lanterns. I'm going to say they cost you 10 or, or 100, or, sorry, if they cost you 10 and you want to buy 10 of them, that's $100. That's an okay investment on these lanterns. Uh, this cost you 15 bucks and it's $150 on just lanterns. Any flowers or candles, of course, would be extra, uh, but that's up to you. You set yourself a budget, you know, for uh, your items. Okay, my camera wants to follow my face, but I hope uh, it's not going in and out of, you know, like blurring and such. Okay, let's continue on. So I'm not going to put any moss here because I'm actually going to build a little, a little bouquet to go around here. And I just want a small one. So let me check out this flower here and see how big that is compared. Because I did have that other bush that I, let me bring that out again excuse me it has this other flower in it and I feel like that might be let me go ahead and cut it off the bush here 
I, I normally like to cut all all the flowers off the bush ahead of time. I just haven't had time to do that. Actually, this flower would look really pretty right in here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. Just enough to stick it into the styrofoam. Push up the leaf there. And let's see. Let me look at it from here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert it into the styrofoam right in here, the corner. So I'm going to bend the stem to go into the styrofoam at the top rather than, you know, from the side, okay? And then my flowers just bent just a little bit like that forward. Let's, let's push that in as far as I can go in. Oops, my, my flower keeps twisting on me. There we go. And then I'm, I'm bending it downward because I don't want it to cover my candle. But, you guys, let me go ahead and take it out of here. I'm scared I'm going to slide that over too close to the edge and then I'll fall on the floor. Okay, so now that I'm looking at it like that, i got to look through here, through the side here. i got to look through here and make sure that right in here, I don't see any star, any of the white styrofoam. If I do, I'm going to cover that up. So these little leaves of, of ivy are what's going to cover it. So I'm just going to put some glue on them. Go back here. Cover. There's another one. And just cover. And it's just covering a little bit of the styrofoam and it's covering the... the uh, the stem, but I'm not covering the whole thing yet because I still got to put insert more uh, stems in there to come out. Okay, so in order to do a stem that'll come out, let me get some more flowers. Excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. Let's cut them all off <laughs> while I'm here. I don't think I'm gonna use another one of that one big. Um, I don't know what that is. There we go. So you can look at it up close. Um, it's beautiful. Um, but anyway, I don't think I'm going to use another one of that because I do want my flowers to go smaller because I didn't have a lot of space on my tray. Okay, so but I am going to use these. This is from the Dollar Tree Roses. Let me put that back. Um, of course, I could combine all this. It looks really, it would look really pretty. But I don't need that many flowers. So I think I'm going to use, I like the bud, I like this, this so that extends what's inside outward. And I do have another bud which I can use, but I'm not going to use these bigger flowers, they're so beautiful. And I'm not going to use these bigger roses. And uh, this is a little too much, I'm going to save it for another, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I need more of this one, but I'm going to save it for another, I'm going to save this little stand too, for another project. So here I'm going to go ahead and cut off, uh, let me cut one really long, and then I'm going to cut a short one here from the smaller flowers. Okay, so to create this bouquet, let's put our lantern back in here so we can see how much space we have. See how we don't have too much space, okay? So one of these roses I like right up here in the front so I'm gonna have this bud and you know what I'm gonna use this one let's take off the greenery the, yeah I'm gonna have this one be my length of how long I want this bouquet to kind of swoop out so I'm just gonna bend it like that see what I'm doing I'm bending it and I'm going to bend this little bit that's going to go into the styrofoam in there behind this leaf here. So let me stick it in there. And then I can just maneuver and bend this as I need. Okay, that gives me the shape of where my bouquet can be, okay? So I need to do a little bit of some marking. So I need to get a little piece of tape. So I'm going to cut right here and I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm back. The quickest thing that I could grab is some electrical tape. I don't want to have to dig through everything. That was the first thing that popped up. So what I'm going to mark here is, see this flower here? This covers some of the stem that actually goes in there. So I'm just going to mark. I'm going to put my finger on to pull it out. And I'm going to mark right here with my tape. So I don't have to put any anything over here. Everything's going to be attached from here forward, okay? Now, let's go ahead and start building this. So I wanted this flower right about here. So I'm just going to bend it, shape it according uh, along with this. And here's where I'm going to cut the stem. I just realized I didn't even introduce some greenery tape, which we're going to need. So I'm going to cut a piece of wire and I'm going to wrap it around this stem first, get a little, little end like that, and then wrap it around nice and tight, and then take that end, and then the other part that's still out, wrap those together, okay? And then we're going to put it on, on here, and that's going to help us then tie it onto this thing here. But let's get some floral tape. So we can tape around it so we don't see all that wire. Okay, so this is a floral tape. I've used it before and I've told you that when you're wrapping it around, you gotta pull on it slightly, stretch it a little bit, is what you're doing, and that releases the adhesive on it. If you try wrapping this around, it's not gonna stick. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna roll it around. As I'm rolling it around, I'm pulling on it, and then I'm also pressing it, so that makes it stick. So I'm gonna hide this bit of wire why I tied it up here and a little bit here, why I put it flat up against it. So here I have this bit here. And now I'm going to put it right where I want it. And then that little stem will get attached there. And then just go all the way down until that whole little bit of stem. And then you can reshape it when you reshape this as well. And then now I'm going to take that so we hide that wire I'm pulling oops it sometimes it tears when you pull it that's okay just stick it back on there and continue doing that make sure that the little end of that little wire gets taped in there so it's not sticking out and hooks you so now we have all that taped so I can just bend this flower just a little bit so we're going to continue and adding flowers on here I'm going to use uh, one of these Dollar Tree ones. And I want to use some of the lavender color stems as well. So let's get some of those. And I'm going to push up the greenery on it. Because I do like this different green in there. It's nice to have different colors of greenery. And then we're also going to take that ivy and get some pieces from that and add in here as well. So I'm going to put that one right in here. And I'm going to do the same thing where I Put a wire, put a little tape, attach it here, and then I'm going to do the next item. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's put that one out of the way. You can straighten this out so it doesn't feel like it's in your way. You can see how that's getting built. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of this. Um, ivy. Let's cut it off here. I like this little bit of stem here, so like that. Next. So I can just use this little piece, this little piece, and that can go right in here. So we have some greenery in there as well. So let's treat it the same way.
I'm not going all the way down. I'm not putting this wire on there all the way down to the end. I'm just going like somewhere halfway because this part I want it attached and then that will get wired onto this one here. And I need a little bit of stem, a little bit of length so I can bend it and shape it so that it's not laying flat. Okay, I'm going to put that right in here. Leaf gets in the way there, no problem. We'll just keep pushing it out of the way. Okay, taping it. Okay, I think you can see what I'm I'm achieving here. Okay, so before I had the next flower, and I said I wanted to do a rose. This Dollar Tree rose is perfectly fine. It blends in just nicely. I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to add some greenery to it. And I want the greenery to come up like from behind it. So I'm going to create like another little little spray like this, okay? But then that can come out a little bit out of it. So, so everything's not like all clustered in this little row, okay? And then once I have it on here, I can bend things and fold them and shape them to fit within here. Some of them might, you know, come out a little bit. That's fine, okay? So now we're going to attach this to this. And we'll go ahead and do the same treatment. Now you could just lay it on there and then just wire the two stems together. But I, I find right now that this works really well because I'm making sure that that I'm grabbing the 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 stem. And then if I take down the wire, that also keeps it from sliding off and coming off. Okay, bending it up a little bit, putting it in front here, and then wrapping this up. Okay, so I've cut some length of uh, ribbon here. This is about, let's see, maybe about 16 inches. You can cut it shorter. I'm going to take these th three pieces and pinch them at the center. They don't have to be exactly the center. It could be one side can be longer than the other. They don't all have to be perfectly with each other. Okay, so I'm just putting some wire and then twisting the wire so that I have this bit. And I want to put this under here so that it comes out from underneath. So I have to tape that now and onto here. And then once I've put this uh, in there and I, if I need to trim these I will because this will be something like this this will be laying in here like that and then we'll have these ribbons so I can trim them once I get there but some of these do have wire on them so I can actually just roll them either on my finger or on a pencil or something and just cause these little curly cues here like that because it's got wire these don't so that, they won't do that but there we go. So that'll look pretty like that. Okay, so then we want to take a little bit more ribbon. And now we want to make like, oops, I just dropped someone dropped the roll on the floor. That's okay. Alright, so we're just gonna grab the ends. They don't have to be exactly together. And I'm gonna get like a little shorter tail this time and just pinch it. And just make a loop like that, and then make another loop. And then just and now they all went to the floor. And I'm cutting them kind of at an angle, okay? I had some wires already here cut up ahead of time. So actually that cut that too long. I just noticed it. Well, I'll leave it and we'll fix it and see what happens once we have it on there. This one, I want to attach to this. Actually, I want to attach it kind of in front here, right there. So that when we have our bouquet in there, it'll have ribbons built into it and little loops. And that'll look really pretty. So let's tape that down. There we go. And we'll worry about, you know, either curling or trimming these later. Let me just cut these more of an angle here. That looks good. Let me just curl this one a little bit here. That'll be nice. So that's what that looks like. So this one, we're now going to attach it to this. And then just, just put it, since they're both taped, 
we don't have to put a wire we're just going to go ahead and just tape it you could wire down if you feel more comfortable just tape it in that one little spot okay and then get some more on there wrap it up good and now I can trim this one this is the one with the tape that's the length so I don't want to trim that one but I can go ahead and trim this other one that was on the rows because I don't need that anymore so look we're getting close to this this section here and I wanted a one of the rows here so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this one next in there look you guys when I poke my I poke my uh, finger some blood got drawn so I got little stains here and there so you want to be careful watch out for that because if you're doing this for someone else I mean you don't want blood on their on their product or even yours but you know just keep that in mind okay so you, whatever you think you're going to need for some arrangements for somebody else buy a little bit extra in case that happens and you stain something all right okay And look how pretty that little bit is already looking. So we're building a little bouquet. I don't need this big leaf. I think it's a little too much for this particular arrangement. This one's gonna fit in here perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim it. Let's see, should I add some leaf to it? I'm just gonna add whatever this is. So add this bit to that. Got to add wire. <laughs> Came right off. Okay, that's okay. Twirl that. At least I got my my wire on there already. And as a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and put my tape on it since the leaf is not in the way. You know what I'm going to do is um actually put a little bit of glue on this just to make sure it doesn't come off. I kind of pulled on it so I don't think it would but I'm still going to put some there we go. Now I can attach this to this using that same wire and then covering it with tape get that end on. And I didn't even put a wire on this to then not put it on there because now that I've got, I still got an area that's covered with tape. And some, sometimes when you have that, it's easier to attach something because the tape seemed to kind of like stick together. But if you wanted to wire it down, make sure it's on there. Let's fold this up a little bit so it's not like flat into it. Fold it up so it comes up out of the arrangement. So now I got these two parts here together. I feel like it's kind of dark in here. I'm this is I'm working at night because you know things happened. <laughs> okay so let's tape that on there real good. And we're getting close to this area here where that rose is gonna be and where I have um do I need another one of these or should I just go with that? I think I'm just going to go with this and add two more of these little lavender stamps. I'm not using the tulip out here. I could, um, but I don't have very many left. I only have three and I want to use those on the bouquet because I can't find any more of those. I am going to go shopping, so if I find a different tulip, um, then I know that I can use that one for something else, But or the three that I have there. Uh, but I'm not going to use it for this one. So I want to build. And this time I'm going to put this stamp coming out this way because the space that I have here, you know, is just so much. So this will probably end up being like somewhere over here. And I'll be sticking out of my arrangement a little bit. That'll be fine. So I'm going to have that one over here. And then I'm going to put um, probably some more greenery and then this rose and then add another one of these lavender bits. And of course I want to make another one of these loopy bits you know of ribbon where I made all the loops I'm gonna put that right in front of it on top of this one so chitter chatter out and let me grab my ribbons
that on there. Magnet. Okay, I have that like that. I'm going to put this right about here. Let's put this one inward there, like that. I'm going to tape these two together. And remember that other big flower kind of sticks out right here where this tape is. It's right about here. So that'll be good, okay? Let me just tape these together real, really well. lavender and I might end up putting this one in there but let's see how all this does in here I'm just gonna let it just leave it alone push up my my other flower get some glue on this here and stick it in there into the styrofoam Now remember that styrofoam is not very deep, so it's not going to go very far in there. Okay, so now I can bend everything, curve it. There we go. Fix this little this little bow here so that it's you know, not necessarily covering this flower, but it's covering this little bald spot. Bring up my lavender a bit. Remember, I'll tell you, it might, it might come off the edge here a little bit. And then we've got all these long curls, so I'm going to curl this one. Long ribbons, I meant to say. And because it sticks out a little too much, I'm going to trim some of it. Let's see where some of these are coming from. This is all the ones that are coming forward. These, these do not curl, so I'm just going to trim them like that. These I can actually bend inward a little bit so they're not so big, these loops. Okay. And then I'm just going to drag these underneath here, put them on the platter, curl this particular ribbon. That looks so pretty. Okay, and curl that. Okay, there we go. And it's resting on my platter the way that I like it. Now, because Here in the front, right under here, because I can, I can see um, what's under here, I can take that lavender, actually, yeah, it's long enough. I'm not even going to trim it. I'm going to put a little bit of glue and slide it in there and poke it into the styrofoam back here. And that'll cover that. Oops, excuse me, I have to face it towards me. Get under the, under the petals of that other big flower, and then... Push it into the styrofoam. Okay, there we go. I'm going to bring some of those ribbon loops there also. So that kind of height. Okay, there's a little wire here. I'm going to take that off. There we go. The Some of the wire on the ribbon was kind of coming out. Kind of poked through, I guess. Got pulled. So I just trimmed it off. So this is where you want to you know, like bend flowers, you know, you want to twist them and bend them so that, you know, everything is covered and you're not seeing inside of there. That's it, everyone. Okay. All right, everyone, so that concludes my project at number three, this lighted lantern floral centerpiece. 
I'm going to go ahead and give myself a big old thumbs up. I even put a little tulip right here on the side to kind of uh, fill in that little bare space. I hope that you two will give me a big old thumbs up and that you enjoyed this tutorial and leave a nice comment down below. As you can see, this could actually be for any occasion. It could just be for your home if you wanted to have it as a centerpiece. On your dining table, you could do that or anywhere in your home or as a gift for Valentine's. It's not too late for Mother's Day. But of course, I'm doing my farmhouse wedding, so I think this is very fitting of uh, a table where you will have maybe where the guests will sign in, maybe where the gifts will be put, or if you have a money tree next to it, I think this will look uh, complement it very well. All right, everyone. Thank you to everyone who has been subscribing. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and hit that little notification bell. That'll notify you of when I put up my videos, which is every Tuesday and every Friday. And as I, as I said, this February will be just crafts. So Fridays, I won't have any recipes because I'm doing this wedding series and I'm working on my kitchen. So it doesn't look so great right now for videos. So anyway, everyone, thank you for joining me today. Make sure you share on your social medias and as always, enjoy.